recording. And then if you want to zoom, you just hit that glass there. And oh, okay. Like that, and then you can zoom in. And down like that. Nice, nice. Tom's working. You're not plugged in. Copy? Yeah. Steven, you got a copy? Sure, you copy during a radio check. Yeah, I copy, got you. Well, I sure can't see shit. Yeah, these nuts suck ass. Your rear view mirror up there too, I don't know if that helps you. Yeah, a little bit. I knew we were going to hit that sun. Yeah. You guys behind yes. us? Yes. They're a ways back, but it, yes, they're back there. I repeat that, we're on the side of the road right now. Yeah, copy, I was just making sure everybody's on the road. Are you at the church? No, we're just coming down uh, Winchester, almost to Gamebird. That's not bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> much behind us either, can you? No, these nets are shitty. I might end up having to try to find the ones like Brandon's got. This only does like right. Yeah, you right want the blind spot. Too. You know, I was thinking of putting bigger mirrors. You think a bigger, rounder mirror would work? Further out? Or further out? It's not clearing the tire. We like clear the right? We clear right? Yes.
streets in the city on fire
just so they're behind us. You guys ready? Yeah, I gotta move this wheel back. This radio truck, yeah. Loud and clear, radio check. They copy us? What's going on? You guys copy us now? Yeah, I got you, Brandon's not being able to hear you very well at all. Is his volume turned down? It's the radio volume, not our comms volume, so it's definitely, it's all the way up. Clear.
doing that or is it popping? No, I'm doing it. I'm trying to hold my foot still. My foot. Where are you guys at? Still good vacuum. Careful, don't burn your leg. What is that? Don't burn your leg. Yeah. We should put like a pad or something there. Well, with the suit, it's not. It doesn't burn. It just gets your attention when you hit it. <laughs> it's not burn hot. Yeah. But it'll make you move your leg. Still got good vacuum, still good oil pressure. It just fucking ain't right. Right? No, I don't understand it. I mean... No, there's no rhyme or reason. That says 260, this is 240. And we're still running good. We're not puking anything. I don't feel anything boiling under my butt like I normally do. Yep, I'm all right. What are you seeing? So our issue here was our gauges were really erratic. I've got a, a coolant temp gauge on my side and on Brett's side he's got a head temperature gauge. And it was about 20 degrees difference between the two which okay you know that's fine but they were so erratic. Mine was very stable and steady. Uh, it did climb in heat but it did it at a, a steady rate. Brett's on the other hand would shoot up and then drop down really abruptly and then climb up slowly and then drop abruptly and it was just all over the place. So we brainstorm a lot here and it really had us stumped because we thought we had all the air blood out of the system but however that proved to be not the case. Um, we went back and did a lot of research and determined that these heads, the style of these Vortec heads, store a lot of air. They have a lot of air pockets in them and uh, we just needed to burp a lot of air out. It was shocking how much air we got out of it when we get back to the shop, which you'll see here in a minute. Uh, the guys ended up just shaking the truck. We were jacking the rear of the truck up while filling it and running it, and then we jacked the front of the truck up while, while filling and running it and trying to burp all of it out. In the end, what I learned was it's not so much the head, it was the intake manifold. Uh, the intake manifold that I use is a Victor uh, Edelbrock Victor and primarily Edelbrock designed it for drag racing purposes so they eliminated the rear cross flow tunnel that a normal Chevy intake would have that connects the back portion of the cylinder heads uh, with a coolant tunnel and it allows those heads to bleed off air trapped in the back section of the of the cylinder head 
and um, and cool uh, as this coolant back there. So the rear part of the heads was getting really hot, and I learned that there is a uh, basically a hose line kit that you can apply to the intake manifold that takes two lines and runs it from the back portion of the intake manifold up to the thermostat uh, tunnel, uh, thermostat housing. And Edelbrock realized that this intake manifold was popular in other forms of racing and they determined that that rear cooling port or cooling tunnel was necessary. So instead of changing their entire casting process, um, they just pre-drilled holes and then plugged them off. So when you buy the intake, it comes with plugs, which I noticed were there, but didn't really ever have a reason to use them, but that's what they're for. So all I gotta do is take those plugs out and thread in some AN elbows and run some eight line up to uh, the thermostat housing and that allows not only coolant to flow from the back portion of the heads um, but it also allows air to escape so ultimately that's going to be our solution <laughs> okay, you feel the air blowing on you? Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. Okay. All right, here we go. I'll try to pull out of here without anybody navigating me. <laughs> can you see in this mirror? A uh, little bit, yeah. Okay, I can see. You're, you're good over here. We're rolling out of the shop now. Yeah, anytime you want to talk to them, just push the talk right there. Sounds good. Copy. We're going to take off on me, Alta. Copy. You know, it's pretty surprising how clear these come across. Yeah, it's a good system. Yeah, it's nice. Julie, you got a copy? Copy, you're loud and clear. I gotta change it. Clear right? Clear right. I'm at 163 on my temp. Okay. We're looking at about 170 on water temp over here. 